Dana from Zero to Income here. Sean and I have been checking out System and whether or not we would recommend this system. By the way, we technically are an affiliate of System, so I'm throwing that out there. So technically, they kind of sponsor uh, this content. So I'm just, I want to make that very clear for you today. So I started, I opened up my system account and I went through the steps to connect my domain, zero to income or our domain, zero to income.com to system. And there is a mistake. There is a, a issue with what their instructions say. I want to let you know this. I imagine they're going to fix it. But in the meantime, you might want to know about this because if you're frustrated and you probably go to YouTube and you say, how come I can't co connect my domain to system? This might be why. So let me share my screen. And this could be domain, uh, dom this could be related to the domain provider you use. In my case, I use name, name.com. So uh, if we look at this show instructions that they have, I'm not going to click this right now, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings, custom domains, and then there's a, a button up here to the top right. My video covers it up, but uh, there's a button to add a domain. So that's what I want to do. I want to add a domain. Now, when you add the domain, it's going to give you some instructions on how to add your domain. And if you look at these instructions, it's going to say, log into your registrar and make these couple changes, okay, with your DNS entries. I'm not going to go all the way down the road of DNS entries and how to edit them. Um, but basically, you're going to open up your domain provider and you're going to go into your DNS settings and you're going to start adding some values. And this is where I had a problem. So they ask you to add this C name right here. And if you look at this value right here, um, so I'm saying this is the this is the C name and this is the value to return. This is the C name and this is the value to return. Now, um, this right here, these can, by the way, none of these values can end with periods. But if you look here, you'll see it, they will give you a value that ends with a period. You have to take that off, else this isn't going to work. And the same thing here with this host, it might show you a period at the end of this host and then the value. So host www, basically you're saying if it's www.zero2income.com, I want you to point here. And that's what happens. Um, but when you paste these values in, you're going to see these, you might see periods. And if you see periods, you have to take the periods off the end. Not, not the ones in the middle, just the one off the end. And that will allow you to add that record. Like I said, this might be domain provider, uh, yeah, domain provider uh, dependent, maybe GoDaddy, maybe some of these other providers. Ignore the fact that you've put a period at the end of the value. Um, I'm, not, I'm not absolutely sure on that, but I know for me, it is working now. Um, so I was able to add it and now my domain is ready to use. So you click uh, add the domain in the top right and then you're going to get any instructions and then you're going to go to your domain provider and um, you're going to follow uh, the instructions. Now, these are not the values you're going to, you're going to get, and I'm not going to click it because I don't, I'm just going to blur it out anyway. But if you click show instructions, when you add the domain, it's going to show you the actual values that you need to input. So if you're frustrated trying to get your domain connected, this might help you get unlocked. All right. So just a little tip to try and help you out.